Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, um, today I'll be talking about a more scientific facts that can be found in the Bible and the facts that I'll be talking about can be found also in the description box of this video. Um, first of all, I want to uh, remind you that the Bible has not been deliberately changed. We have thousands upon thousands of ancient manuscripts to verify the Bible with. Um, the most famous of these being the Dead Sea Scrolls which date back from 250 BC to 68 AD. Um, these facts will prove to you that the Bible is credible, it makes sense scientifically, and is the Word of God. Um, some people will say that the Bible is just some book written by nomadic people thousands of years ago, but if it were not for, in, in, if it were not for intervention from God, how would the nomadic people you talk about know these concrete scientific facts? Um, through His prophets, servants, and preachers, and just just through His people, God revealed to us hundreds and hundreds of scientific facts before humans had any knowledge of them actually um, at a time of um, writing the scriptures science told a completely different story and most of the facts in the Bible were proven to be true just in the past few hundred years um, this means that the Bible was literally thousands of years ahead of its time um, in this video I'll be talking about just five of the hundreds of scientific facts from the Bible and like I said these facts can be found in the description box of this video so the first fact, it can be found in Psalm 102 verses 25 through 27. It says, in the beginning you laid the foundations of the earth. Then it goes on to say, they will perish. And then it goes on to say, they will all wear out like a garment. And this was written in 1000 BC. So, this, so the second law of therm thermodynamics describes entropy, which is simply put, it is universal decay. So this law was discovered in the 1800s, but the Bible talked about it um, 3,000 years ago in this verse. And also, um, uh, the same law is an embarrassment to evolutionists who believe that a species will get better suited and more complex over time. And remember, evolution is just a theory, while the second law of thermodynamics is a law. Um, so the next fact fact number two can be found in Genesis chapter 1 verse 16 so Genesis chapter 1 verse 16 speaks of creation of two great lights so it talks about the greater is the sun which rules the day the lesser is the moon which rules the night and the and the Hebrew word used for greater and lesser refers to the size of the objects not the amount of light they give off but at a time of writing the scriptures people thought that the moon was bigger than the sun because that is the way it appears to the naked eye and however we know that the sun is now we know that the sun is a million times bigger than the moon and the bible told us that the sun is bigger in the first chapter of genesis and this was written in 1500 B bc this is simply amazing and it was written at a time when people thought the moon was actually bigger than the sun because they could clearly see the they can clearly see the moon so genesis next fact fact number three genesis chapter 3 verse 15 it says between thy seed and her seed. This is talking about the man seed and the woman seed. Remember that it was not discovered until the 17th century that man and woman both possessed the seed of life. The author of Genesis, who probably was Moses, wrote this thousands of years ago. This is what happens when you follow God. He keeps you thousands of years ahead of everyone else. And so this fact clearly says that the woman also has a seed and we did not know this until the 17th century. So the next fact, fact number four, it says plants, um, so plants need sunlight, water, and minerals to grow and make their own energy, right? And they will die, die without any of these. And, and if you read Genesis, um, it talks about how God created the water first, then he created the soil, then he created the plant life. He made it in this chronological order. This is simply amazing. Humans could, could only have dreamed of knowing these facts on their own. This is proof that the Bible is scientifically credible and he if he were if he did not um make this in this chronological or, or, order then you can say well the bible is not accurate because the water must come first then the soil and then the plant but um god clearly told us the order he made it in this is the order that makes that makes sense to sustain plant life so this is simply amazing so the next fact fact number five um the bible mentions that the time of year month or day can be found through the lights of the moon and the sun genesis chapter 1 verse 14 it says and god said let there be lights in the f in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years 
and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. So only through God this could have been known 3,500 3, years ago. Um, this knowledge we take for granted now, it seems to be common sense. But remember, people thousands of years ago did not know these things on their own. Most of the facts in the Bible, like I said, were just proven to be true just in the past few hundred years when science was just starting to take off. So the Bible is credible scientifically. It contains it could it contains concrete facts that humans so long ago could uh, could have only dreamed of discovering on their own. And without God, these facts could not have been known so long ago when technology was so primitive. So please wake up. And also, the Bible has hundreds of other scientific facts um i only talked about five in this video you can do your own research if you're if you're still a skeptic you can do your own research and also in the description box of this video um i have a message about the end times the tribulation and the second coming of the son, son of man so and it also talks about the rapture so please spread that message if you're gonna post it on your facebook if you're gonna text it to someone if you're gonna print it out give it to someone do whatever you can in your power to warn as many people as you can and Thanks for listening. Um, all glory to God because all glory belongs to Him.